What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. I am going to go ahead and just make a playlist of the SCP videos that you guys recommend to me in the comments below um, this video, and I'll check a couple of my past SCP videos too because me, foolish mortal that I am, suffering from hubris, well, I was like, oh, I'll 100% remember all of the SCP videos that they asked for me to check out. Like, I'll definitely remember that. I have a mind like a steel trap, okay? Like, I don't have an eidetic memory, but I have a pretty decent memory. No, no, that's just, it's just not true. Um, like I, like I do have a good memory, but then at the same time, I don't like you, like you understand. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like you guys get it. I like, I can remember very specific conversations that I had 10 years ago, but I cannot remember my list of groceries. you like, you get it. You feel me? I can remember specific trivia, but don't ask me to remember somebody's name that I've only met once, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is about my brain retaining information that I don't actually need, but then the information that I do need, my brain is just like, no bitch, suffer, struggle, trials and tribulation. Etsy Hoosins, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Today, we are here to watch SCP-1983, Doorway to Nowhere. Uh, this video is from The Volgun, one of my favorite SCP channels. And the SCP is designated as Keter. It's Keter. I always wanna say Keter because it's spelled like Peter and I'm like, Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, but it's Keter, so. I got it, I got you guys. Um, it says that this is an extra dimensional SCP. I'm assuming extra dimensional is like extraterrestrial, right? But with dimensions, did I, did I put that together right? Anyway, we'll go ahead and find out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1983, Object Class, Keter, Presumed Neutralized. Oh, okay. Special Containment Procedures. Outpost 54 has been built on the land surrounding SCP-1983 and disguised as a chemical plant. The plant building serves as a barracks for Mobile Task Force Chai-13, Choir boys. <laughs> all funny. entry points into Outpost 54 are to be guarded at all times. Personnel will review document 1983-12, which details the cover story to be given to any civilians expressing curiosity. Okay. All mobile task force must profess strong religious beliefs, per Chai-13 protocols. Huh. All ammunition stocked must have silver or silver-tipped projectiles. <gasps> A 24-hour watch is to be maintained on the front door of SCP-1983-1. Guards are to engage in any instances of SCP-1983-2 on site. No personnel is to approach within 5 meters of SCP-1983-1 outside of scheduled testing protocol. Are they vampires? Also, I like this as strong religious beliefs, but it doesn't say which belief, belief, like which belief system. Like you gotta believe in something, it don't matter what, but you gotta believe in something. But also, is it vampires? I don't know, let's find out, let's find out. Update. Following the event 1983-23, a stand down of Outpost 54 has been authorized. A skeleton crew will remain to monitor SCP-1983 for any further activity. Arms intended for use against instances of SCP-1983-2 are to be maintained at Outpost 54 Armory. Okay. Description. SCP-1983-1 is a one-story farmhouse in County, Wyoming. Of course it's it was Wyoming. abandoned in 1968 after a series of ritual murders, allegedly performed by a satanic cult. Please see capture logs for SCP for further details. Mm. The front door of SCP-1983-1, when opened, appears to contain a spatial anomaly. 
Neither matter nor light has been observed to exit the doorway, save for instances of SCP-1983-2, though the anomaly is exothermic. Okay. SCP-1983-1 is accessible through other entrances, including windows, the back door, and entrances cut into the back of SCP-1983-1. However, the front room does not appear to exist inside of SCP-1983-1. Doors that should lead to the front room instead lead to other doors inside the building. What? Measurements of the inside and outside of SCP-1983-1 are inconsistent. Holes cut through the interior walls of SCP-1983-1 that should lead to the front room lead instead to the outside walls around the front of SCP-1983-1 but stop three meters on either side of the doorway. Okay. Attempts to drill into the front room of SCP-1983-1 from the outside have led to the exposure of smaller portions of the anomaly, though instances of SCP-1983-2 have not been observed to exit them. Further attempts to breach the wall have been forbidden by L-53 due to the possibility of allowing increased potential for instances of SCP-1983-2 to appear. SCP-1983-2 are bipedal creatures approximately 1.8 meters tall. Vampires. They are vaguely humanoid and entirely black in color. They vampires. are highly aggressive and will engage any human on sight. When an instance of SCP-1983-2 comes into contact with a human, they extend an upper limb into the human's chest cavity, without any apparent damage to skin or tissues. Through unknown means, they then extract the heart, ah! killing the human. Once it has acquired a human heart, the instance of SCP-1983-2 will return to SCP-1983-1. Oh no! Silver munitions fired while offering prayer is the only known method of killing SCP-1983-2. The precise form of prayer or religion of the supplicant does not appear to matter, so long as the prayer is sincere. Once okay. killed, the bodies of SCP-1983-2 appear to disintegrate leaving a small layer of sulfur. So they're demons? SCP-1983 was discovered after a series of mysterious deaths in the vicinity of County. Foundation investigators encountered instances of SCP-1983-2 and were able to trace them back to SCP-1983-1. Addendum 1. A team from Mobile Task Force Chai-13 was sent through the front doorway to attempt to investigate the anomaly. They did not return. Oh. However, Shortly after they entered, the front door appeared, closing in the frame. No further manifestations of SCP-1983-2 appeared. So, like, it's almost like that team was like a sacrifice or something? Addendum 2. A second assault team entered SCP-1983-1 to determine the fate of the first assault team. They did not return. Yeah, the door did say, not close. Do Shortly after, new manifestations of SCP-1983-2 appeared. Agent Morris entered the doorway, which closed shortly after. What? Addendum. But also, after the first team disappeared, why would you send in a second team? That se that seems un not, not smart. You know? Like, poor planning, not great thinking. Addendum 3. On May 23rd, 1989, D-14134 was given a closed-circuit camera tethered to a monitor by a 25-meter cord. He was instructed to examine as much of the area as he could, and then attempt to return. Once through the doorway, feed from the camera was interrupted. Okay. The cord was pulled taut and then snapped. Oh, shit. Several hours afterward, the anomaly in SCP-1983-1 disappeared. Inside, the desiccated remains of several agents were discovered as well as document 1983-15. An informal SCP report written by an agent within the anomaly appears as follows. Okay, I'm ready. Item number. Pending. Object class. Keter. God help you. Ah, so it's Keter, Keter, Pumpkin Eater when a British person is saying it. I got it. Or Australian. Or... Or New Zealander? Special containment procedures. You're going to die, you poor dumb fuck. <laughs> this isn't a threat. I'm Agent Barkley. I'm in the middle of this goddamn thing, and I'm telling you, if you're here, you're going to die. I'm probably already dead.
So that's out of the way. Let's get to the containment procedures. There's really only one. Close the goddamn door. Uh you aren't going to get back through there. You've probably already tried, but we know they can get out if they try hard enough. That's how we found this fucking place. Hopefully, you've already done that. I know we did, once we gave up on getting out through there. If you didn't, then you go straight back and get that door closed. That's your only priority right now. Okay. You're gonna die anyway. Might as well do some good before you go. Uh, description. So, here's the story. Tell me if you've heard it before. The Foundation gets reports of a trouble in Bumfuck, USA. Cattle and wildlife are dying mysteriously. Some people turn up missing. When a body shows up, autopsy finds the heart missing. Not cut out, not torn out, just gone. Empty space in the middle of the chest. That's weird. They find some sort of pitch black things floating around. Some brain at the Foundation has seen something like them before. Figures out how to kill them. Silver bullets and pray to God as you fire. Literally. For some reason, that makes it work. Doesn't matter which god, but you damn well better mean it. This is discrimination against atheists, and I will be filing a report with the NAACP. And the ACLU. And PETA. I don't know what they could do, but they're real noisy. <laughs> I can't anymore. Not after seeing the nest. <laughs> anyway, Foundation figures out where it's all coming from. Some house in the middle of bump. No one's lived there in years, not since yada yada. Murder, cult rituals, bullshit. The main thing is, these things keep appearing out of the front door. A team goes in, and they never come back out. But then again, neither do the monsters. A sane person would say, good enough. Keep an eye on it. Kill anything that moves. Right, that's what makes sense. But this is the foundation. You're a tough agent from MTF, whatever the f***. Maybe Sequerenos, maybe choir boys like me. You go bust down the door and run inside and that's it. You're f***ed. Trying to be... The living room was bad enough. Out here trying to be Captain save -ho. That's why we be telling y'all not to do that shit. Inside and that's it. You're f***ed. The living room was bad enough. That's where they got O'Brien. They reached in and suddenly he kneeled over and one of them took off with his heart in its claws, That's still crazy. I guess. They're less distinct here. You probably noticed that. They're like shadows. Stay away from the light. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds stupid, but think about it. In the light, shadows are stronger. They have edges. When it's dark, they're indistinct. That makes sense, because there's no way for you to flood the area with lights. So you might as well just have stay out of the light. Okay, that makes sense. They hardly touch you, and they don't see very well. I think they see by your shadow. Oh. I don't know, I'm just pulling straws here, I'll be honest. You've probably tried to go back out the door, but if you haven't, don't. It leads to some place even worse. How? There's there things ripping monsters, your heart out of your chest. But Jones went too far from the house, and I swear to God, he started to melt. Oh. Things started popping out of him. And all you need to know is he didn't make it back. That's when we closed the door. Smart. Okay. So we started moving through the house, and we kept to the light at first, before we wised up. Three of us gone that way, but we got a pretty good picture of our surroundings. This place, <laughs> it's big. It's not just the farmhouse. It's like they stole bits and pieces of a lot of places and stuck them all together. There's some bits that look like an apartment, some that look like a shopping mall, and even what I swear is a closet from my old high school. Ooh. The same patterns on the tiles and everything. That's creepy. There's also bits that are made out of stuff. <laughs> it, it's black, like the shadow things, and it's mostly in the well-lit places. If the lights go out, you can stick your hand through. I don't recommend it. That sounds like a bad idea. Just so many bad ideas in this particular SCP, you know? That's how we lost Tori. See, that's like I said. Something grabbed him, pulled him through. Oh no. The hole wasn't big enough for his head. 
but he still went through. Eventually. Uh. So stay away from the light places, but watch your step. So nothing is safe. Got it. Of course, there's no way out. We figured that out too. Any door you find, it either leads to another room in this nut house, or it leads out there. And it's pretty obvious we can't live there, so it's wait until you starve to death, or one of those things gets you. That's unfortunate. A great bunch of choices. Hey, there's one thing you can do. I can go through with it, but maybe you can. It won't help you live, I don't think, but it's. I think it's important. I'm pretty sure someone's going to have to. With these things, are going to get out eventually. Okay. This place is stolen from lots of places, so I'm thinking there have to be other doors. Right. We've closed all the other ones we found, but what if they get opened again? And the foundation doesn't find them in time. Hell, they don't even know about closing the doors. I'm just hoping they figure out that if someone goes in, the things might stop getting out. And that's assuming everyone's smart enough to close, close the, the door. door after they come in. Right. So I think I figured out a way to stop these things. Well, spit it out, man. It's the nest. For the record, why would you not put the way to stop the things first, sir? I understand that, you know, you're starving to death and you're fighting for your life, but give us the important information, man. I only saw it once for a few minutes. We followed one of those bastards after they got Denning's heart. For a few minutes. You need to sort out your priorities. That was my terrible Ronald Weasley impression. It's the nest. I only saw it once, for a few minutes. We followed one of those bastards after they got Denning's heart. It took it into a room that I guess is in the middle of this whole place. It's all black stuff, and they've dragged every kind of light they could find, I guess. Lamps, flashlights, candles, you name it. Some of them were carrying in more as we watched. Anyway, at the middle, there's a big pile of hearts just tossed in a heap and torn open. Every one, ah. they threw Denning's heart on the pile and it started to beat and then pulse and then thrash around. Then it tore open <gasps> and one of those things pulled itself out. It shook itself, started to grow and then went right to work. What? The, the gross thing is that, torn apart as they were, the hearts kept beating. Okay, that's. I swear, that's I felt a twinge in my own chest. Sick imagery. There were shadows in the place. I don't mean the monsters. I mean real shadows of people. Only there was no one there to cast them. They were coming from the hearts. A new one appeared at the same time as the hatching monster and started trying to pull away, but it couldn't. That's why I ran. I couldn't take it. You, you did. understand? I wasn't trained for this kind of shit. I heard the others behind me. I don't know if they were trying to stop me or if the bastards had spotted us, but we got separated. Damn. I found a nice, dark closet, and I've been hiding in here ever since. I've been writing by pen light. Oh. I turn it off whenever I hear one of them getting close. It's worked. So far. I can't go any further. I've got a few shots left in my gun, but I can't pray anymore. Not and mean it. Not after I saw the nest. But you, if you found this, you've got to be an agent too. Maybe you're stronger than I was. If you can, go in and destroy the nest. Destroy every last heart. If you do, maybe it'll kill them. It's the only thing I can think of. You'll probably die doing it, but... I was gonna say, but you're stuck you're anyway, so you anyway, might as well so try. What does it matter to you how it happens? Me? I'm gonna try and get this report back to the living room, which I hope is why you found it. Then, I'm going to make sure they can't use my heart to make another one of those fucking things. Oh. Good luck. Pew. Moriture te saluted. SCP-1983 is presumed to have been neutralized by D-14134, who was posthumously awarded the Foundation Star, one of only two awarded to D-Class personnel. But how?
How, how did he, like, did y'all give him a grenade or something? Like, how? Due to information contained in document 1983-15, it is believed that the anomaly was not localized as previously believed, and renewed resources have gone into attempting to locate similar incidents. Makes sense. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. If indeed you still are. I really liked that SCP. I thought it was super interesting. It was very ominous. Like I got kind of, and like the imagery was so visceral, no pun intended, I guess. But the imagery was so visceral. Like I really felt, I was like, damn, like I'm, if I'm in my head, I was sitting here like, yeah, bro, like you need to go, you need to go chill out in a closet, hang out. I'm thinking wait for rescue, but Duh. See, look, now my brain's not working. I'm thinking like the foundation, like there is no rescue because you can't, once you get in, you can't get out. So yeah, you just chill in a closet and then, you know, kill yourself. This person did exactly what they were supposed to do. So I really liked it. Oh God, How, I would like to find out more about these specific SCPs, but anyway, I feel like this would make an excellent episode of a TV show, like of an anthology. I think this would be really, really cool. Any hosens, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, ho biscuits. It's skin lit.